What's up, guys? Nice man here. Welcome to the Diablo 4 Research Institution. I'm your host, Professor Ice Dak. Appreciate you guys coming by. Like this video if you will. Subscribe to the page and swat that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below. Wow. So what do you think about the state of Diablo right now as a series? I remember when Diablo 1 came out, I was introduced to it by a dog of mine, right? I was like 12 or 13 years old or something. And I was watching him play it. I was standing behind his shoulder, peering over at the screen, little square monitor. And just watching the warrior walk around and show, 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 show. And little skeletons. The sounds they would make. And I remember him going down into the dungeon and socializing with others. And in those days, that was something I've never really seen before. In fact, I think that was the first I've ever seen of online video game playing. Yeah, I remember he was venturing down into the catacombs with his warrior and he found an axe. The way he swung, shh, 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 and it, um did more damage, made you a bit more vulnerable. But nonetheless, he was down there in the catacombs socializing with a rogue. And I looked at this chick, right? And I was like, damn, she's hot. Yeah, and remember what they did to the rogue in D2R? In Diablo Forts? It's something other than that. Yep. In D2R, these are guys now. The rogues are guys. But I digress. I remember looking at the rogue, and I was like, damn, she's hot. Remember, she's wearing like a little leotard or something. And just nice stance to her, nice, up, nice upright, nice skin tone, nice hair, nice voice. Yeah, that was a woman. Are we allowed to say that anymore? That was a, that was a tight B. Yeah, that was a tight B. And um, then there was the sorcerer down in there, too. It was like the perfect party. We had the warrior. We had the sorcerer. We had the rogue. And I was just watching my dog play this game and just how immersive it was. The music, the flow, the gear, just every enemy had meaning and sense to it. They felt different, the types that you would fight. You'd almost feel their flesh with the sword, swatting it against the goatman. They go, bah, 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 bah. They go, please listen to me. Remember that? Remember that quest? And then the, hey. what's how was that little guy say? He say, hey, you don't want to kill her. Something like that. Wow. I just there's there's still so much shit that's memorable about that. And then the poetry. Remember. I can see what you see not. Something about the layer of the blind? Cats down into the layer of the blind. Just the poetry in that fucking game, man. You guys remember all that shit? Damn! <sighs> and then Diablo 2 came out. It was a little different. The art, it wasn't as grainy and realistic. It was a bit more cartoonish, but they still used actual sprites of people to make the characters. And at first glance, I was like, oh, this doesn't really feel like the same game, because it really wasn't. But of course, Diablo 2 ended up being, as far as many of us would say, one of the best games ever. And of course, I played a ton of Diablo 2. I made another channel about it. My Diablo 2 channel still stands. Uh, I'm making research institution videos on there weekly. Just straight up called the Iceman. Good times. Blessings to you guys. Blessings to my patrons and all my supporters. But wow. And I played Hellfire for Diablo 1 as well. But Diablo 2 came out. And just years and years of playing that. Now I went through strides. You know, I'd stop playing for a while. I'd chase Wayman. And then I'd play a little bit more. And I'd chase Wayman, and I'd play a little bit more. You know, it's kind of what the early days of that looked like. And then I remember Diablo 3 coming out. And the initial videos of Diablo 3 made it look like it was going to be an amazing game. But of course, it was just something a lot different. Uh, all of a sudden, it didn't feel 
like uh, like the older games. Like you just have these swarms of enemies just continually coming at you and you're just blowing up the screen and it doesn't even really matter. Like the numbers are huge, like billions and billions of, of damage and they're just coming at you. Like it's not like a like an organic, lively environment. Well, like what it felt like in Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 where you'd kind of walk around on the map and you'd see enemies just kind of chilling, just doing their little thing, making little noises. Recognize you, you know, just little noises and stuff. And um, and each enemy just felt different because there's a little bit more one on one with Diablo Four. It's just constantly just swarms and swarms, and it just you, there's so much shit going on. You you can't even really tell what's going on, uh, especially after an hour or two of playing. You know, once your character starts building up, once you start getting your skills, it's just explosions everywhere. Just enemies just swarming at you, and it just it just doesn't even really matter if they're skeletons or if they're fallens or if they're uh, whatever the hell, so I, I can barely even think of them, you know, because they all just feel the same, uh, which is a bit of a, what takes away from, I think, what's coming for the expansion. Like, with the expansion, uh, before a lot of the allure, like in Diablo 2, for example, the allure was, oh, wow, a new environment, new enemies, like, that actually sounded cool and, and exciting because they actually felt like different environments you know they actually felt like different enemies but in diablo 4 they don't really feel like that it just it just feels like it's all the same shit always all the time so whether or not there's like jungle lush or whatever or spiders here and there they're just there's just blah, just constant blowing flashing blowing up blowing up flashing it's like what the fuck is going on here man And then in Diablo 2, you remember? I mean, they made the Amazon a guy. Okay? I mean, that is, as far as I see it, that is an unforgivable sin. Yep, they will not be forgiven for that fucking bullshit until they revert those actions. You know, give us the original Amazon. Give us the original assassin. Give us the original sorceress. And hell, bring back Akara. And Charcy as well. And Cassia, all right? Bring these women back. You know, these aren't the same people, okay? What about the representation? These are guys. These are all fucking guys, right? Blizzard got a problem with that, with, with bringing women back? God damn. You guys see what they did? Some William Defoe bullshit. But I mean, look it up. But you guys see what I'm saying? But Diablo. And I remember the first one, just when you go into the dungeon. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Just the music. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, all right, then to go something like that. Dun, 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 the crystal music, the guitars, the harps. It's fucking good. Where'd that all go, man? I mean, I'm going to get the expansion, and uh, I'm going to be playing on this channel, all right? I'll be live streaming some, posting some videos, let you guys know what I think about it. I will be taking the spiritual journey. You know, as I mentioned in many of my other videos, I think it really takes away a lot from the game experience if you just straight up start looking at guides. You're just getting your hand held throughout. It's just like a, a chase for the top, and uh, it's just burning up there, man. You know, once you reach the top, there's just nothing left to do or find or see, nothing. So, I mean, it's it's uh, cutting ahead with almost cheating with looking at these guides. I just, I think it kind of ruins it. But, yeah, that's that's my intention is I'll probably make a necromancer, and I'll be running through it. But, I mean... What's to come for this series? You know, we have Path of Exile 2 coming up. I'm going to be playing that. I'll be making videos on that. Let me know if you guys are going to be playing that game. Uh, looks amazing. Uh, and, and that goes back to the roots, I think, of what it felt like in Diablo 1 and Diablo 2, where you actually would fight like one-on-one -on -one with enemies and they would feel different and sound different and look different. Uh, it was, there, was a, there was immersion there, you know, in the environments. I mean, it just, it, it seems like it's like a, taking it back. But yeah, what's what's to come with Diablo? I mean, are we waiting for Diablo 5 here? Anyway, let me know in the comments below and what are your thoughts on all this? And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace be with you.